Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're checking out Wuthering Waves or Withering Waves. I'm not sure how you're going to say it. Uh, it's a PC cross mobile game. I'm pretty sure those are the two ones that are sort of confirmed. It's a bit gray on the news. Like they've got the Twitter account and it's got like three posts. It's got like a, a sneak peek trailer, then the full cinematic trailer, and then the gameplay trailer. Now we're going to go through these trailers and talk about it. I really love the look of this game. And it is by Kuro Game, who are the same people who created punishing gray raven now i'm going to talk about all that stuff later we're going to get into the trailers first off first of all i want to give a big shout out to chaotic uh if you haven't fo uh, followed or subscribed to chaotic on youtube make sure you do so he's been telling me about this one for a little bit he's like there's something coming it's going to be good kuro games is doing something so he's been getting me hyped about this for a while they finally released the trailers and it looks really nice so shout out to chaotic make sure you go ahead and sub to him on youtube he's a great bloke he has all the inside info with all these foreign developers he does all the digging. Not like me, I just play the games when I get access. He like does all the deep research. So massive shout out to Chaotic. If you can't find him, uh, the O in his name is actually zero. So that's that one. But let's check it out. So this is, this one here, we'll go to this one first. This is going to be, unfortunately, I couldn't find them on YouTube or anything. Let's pause for a sec. I couldn't find them on YouTube or anything. So it, it's, uh, it's just the Twitter video. So, you know, quality be what it will. But, uh, but yeah, it's, Pretty sick. So let's get into this. This is the cinematic. Their calamant arrived without a sign. Their world shattered without so much as a sigh. Be heard. Okay, so that is the cinematic. Now, don't ask me what's going on with the lore and stuff in that. I, I, I don't know. But hey, it's a cool cinematic and I love cinematics and that's all that matters. It got me a little bit excited. But then that was 19 hours ago. Then after they did that full... So they did this little sneak peek where they had a little bit of it the day before. Then they put this one out and then they put this one out, which is the gameplay trailer, which got me even more excited. So let's check out the gameplay trailer because like this is what we're really interested in because... We'll, we'll, we'll talk about punishing Grey Raven and stuff in a sec. Let's just watch the trailer once and then we'll talk about sections.
Okay, so that is that. Now this... Wow, I am, uh, I I can't like I am so excited about this because so for those that don't know, let's find let's find a good still screenshot for me to uh, chat about it on. Actually, let's just play through it. We'll repeat it. <laughs> but so I, Punishing Grey Raven, Kuro Game. I really love their team. I think they were fantastic. Punishing Grey Raven, you know the action RPG since Genshin. That's sort of become the meta now. Punishing Grey Raven's been around in JP and stuff for ages, and. When you look at games like this, specifically you think about Tower of Fantasy and stuff like that, you're like, they're look, looking to clone a Genshin. Now, this, I do not get that feel. This gives me a real Punishing Grey Raven feel, which in Punishing Grey Raven's combat, I prefer that combat to any other action RPG I've played on mobile. It feels really impactful. Everything you do, there's like real strategy behind actually doing it. It's not like Genshin now. Don't quote me as like an exper expert Genshin player. I never played too much Genshin, but from what I, my experience it was like you pop a, you pop an ability you swap character pop an ability swap character pop an ability swap character and then just go ham with the main character that you're going to be playing with so that that's the field now, now genshin players don't get offended by that but like it has a set rotation in the way you play genshin whereas in in punishing gray raven the combat was so like it it, it feels more skill-based like now i hate saying those statements but it's like you've got different combinations that you need to make uh, and it changes every time. So the combat was unique every time you did it. And it was just, like I said, the best combat I've had on top of that uh, in, and obviously you can see there was a character swap there. So I'm assuming they go with the character swap process as well from Genshin. Um, but it's also from, you know, like it is <laughs> from Punishing Grey Raven as well. So like other games have had it, but the thing about this is like when you dodge in Punishing Grey Raven, it like enhances abilities and, and has a big impact. So all that sort of stuff I absolutely love and I can't wait to see the way they actually produce the combat in this game. But when we watch this combat, when we actually watch what's happening, it doesn't give me a Genshin feel. It definitely gives me a Punishing Grey Raven feel. And like that, that, that is sick. Wait, let's put the mute on. This bit here, like the movement, I like agile movement. When I played World of Warcraft, I played Wind Walker Monk and I played Demon Hunter. For those that know, they were just two agile classes. So I like agile movements. This wall running, the backflip into like Spider-Man type stuff with the, <laughs> with the umbrella flying. I think that's cool. Like that looks cool. And that bit there, where we see that bit there, uh, right here. So that dodge. Now that reminds me of Punishing Grey Raven dodging where when they dodge in that game, it has an impact. And that's the feel that I got. It's, it's not like a, a Genshin dodge where it's like, you know, just a little sprint. It's like, it's actually like an impactful dodge. So I, I'm hoping they stay true to Punishing Grey Raven with the combat, which when we look at this, it does like, look at that like rock golem that <laughs> like comes out. Like that's epic. There's some cool stuff, but in essence, I'm just really excited for this game because one, the boss fights that they can this this company creates in Punishing Grey Raven are fantastic, um, and if you add an open world ex exploration type feel to that type of game. Like, I'm going to absolutely love that. So people always think I hated Punishing Grey Raven because I stopped playing. Um, and I, that's definitely not the case. I think you'll find that some of the other content creators as well was the same issue. It was that there was two main issues for me in Punishing Grey Raven. One, the end game grind wasn't that fun because it was all manual and I was jumping in, repeating the same boss for like, you know, half an hour, an hour. Uh, and then that was your sort of grind. So the end game grind... Like the daily, the, the the daily tasks weren't that enjoyable, uh, and the and there was no auto either. And the other thing was that it was, it was you know you knew you knew exactly what was going to happen from the other versions of the game. So there was no nothing new or interesting that could ever come to the game that would surprise me unless I started playing the Chinese version and played two years in advance. So those were my two big issues with Punishing Grey Raven. The actual combat systems, the way they developed the boss fights, all of that stuff was phenomenal. It was absolutely amazing. It was just those two issues that I had, which are why I stopped playing the game. So if they put this, the if they put the the essence of punishing gray raven into an mmo like this i am gonna be 
all for it. Like, I cannot wait for this one. After I saw this trailer, I got really excited. I don't know the release date. Um, I do believe that it is going to be a simultaneous launch globally, which is one of the biggest things for me, meaning we don't have to have that situation where a lot of mobile games at the moment have that, you know, you already know everything that's coming to the version that you're going to play and it loses a lot of the spice. So, Basically, punishing Grey Raven combat in an MMO with simultaneous launch. I am all for it. I'm really excited for this game. I am definitely more excited for this game than Tower of Fantasy. Uh, even though Tower of Fantasy is probably closer, I just see this being as a, like a much more unique and exciting experience and i can't wait to see what they bring so that's all i really have for you guys today um like i said i will keep updating as we find out more on this game because i think this game is going to be big and i think it's going to be fun as hell but uh anyway thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i'll look forward to seeing the next one cheers